What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. Going to show you another quick video here of some of my personal dive gear. Uh, today we're going to look at my fins and I'm not going to show you all the fins in my collection. I'm just going to simply show you the, the four main fins that I use day in, day out and talk a little bit about each one and why I choose to use those. The first one I'm going to show you here are just a set of slip-on Mares wave fins and there's nothing fancy about these fins. Primarily all I use these for is if I'm doing a quick little free dive here off the docks, maybe somebody I drop something they want me to jump in and go get it and I'm gonna say down to a depth of about 15 feet because here in our lake in the summertime we do have a thermocline and below 15 feet it gets pretty cold so if if it's anything deeper than that I'm gonna put on a regular set of fins or open heel fins with boots but if it's not if it's shallow you know 15 foot and shallower I can throw these fins on real quick throw a mask on jump in free dive get it whatever they lost their keys or phone or whatever it is um, and I also use these fins if I'm doing some pool repair, maybe I'm repairing a liner in a pool or checking a light or something like that. I can throw these fins on and, and they work good for that. But primarily the open or the full foot fins is nothing more than just a quick repair or a quick free dive search and recovery situation. The next set of fins I have are the Mares Extremes. And I really like these fins just simply because they're lightweight. These fins, if they happen to come off, they're going to float. You should never ever lose these fins. Um, they work good if I'm in a tropical environment, say if I'm down in the Keys or Fort Lauderdale or somewhere like that. I use these fins, especially in a wetsuit, if I'm trying to keep my weight down or whatnot. Um, they work really good. They're extremely lightweight. They're easy to kick. They flex. Um, they're great for flutter kicking. That's what these fins are designed for, is simply flutter kicking. So I use these if I'm in the tropics, I'm in that wetsuit, or maybe even a shorty. I don't need big bulky fins, and if I need a lot of power to chase after fish, maybe if I'm spear fishing, I'll wear these fins because they work good to chase after fish, and I, if I need to really have a lot of propulsion, these work really good for that. But the Mario's Extreme is kind of my go-to for all-around fun diving type fin. The next set of fins I've got here are the Avanti Quattros, and I want to give a shout out to both Scuba Schools International and Mares because they personalized these fins for me and sent them to me. Um, I didn't even have to request, they done it for me as a dive pro, but I, I like the Avanti Quattros uh, for teaching, and, th and these are my teaching fins, and primarily because they did personalize. It says SSI Dive Pro on the front there, it says follow me on the back, so students, well, there you go, follow me on the backs of the students. Um, it's very easy for them to keep up. It has the bungee straps on the back, so I don't have to sit there and mess with straps. I simply just pull it, stick my foot in, release it. Um, but I'm gonna do a video in the future uh, with the Avanti Quattros and the Avanti Super Channels, and I'm gonna do a comparison video for you um, because we get asked all the time. They look practically identical, a little bit different here in the front, but why one would choose over the other, and I'm gonna talk about that. But like I said, I use these to teach with. These are my instructor fins. This is what, if you're one of my students taking open water course, this is what you're gonna see me wear. Um, I like them. They're big and bulky on the side, so it's great for frog kicking or reverse kicking, but they're still lightweight enough that I can flutter kick if I need to. So all around, these are my go-to teaching fins. Anytime I got a student in front of me, this is what I use. The last set of fins, of course, I'm going to show you are my Mares Power Planas. Um, and these are a beast right here. These fins weigh a, a ton. It's a very heavy duty rubber. Matter of fact, these are the only fins that Mares will ship that doesn't have some type of protector or you know widener for the foot pocket because you don't need it. It would take a lot of weight to actually collapse that in like it would on any other fins. Now, I just threw some in there because I'm OCD, but you know, these are a very, very heavy duty, bulky fin. It takes an act of Congress just to tear them up. Um, but what I like about these is several things. First of all, it is heavy, so it works great for a dry suit type dive scenario. So if I need that extra weight to help trim me out so my feet ain't too light, these are my absolute go-to fins. Now I do use these for public safety and salvage. Now one thing I like, they're so short. As you can tell compared to me, it goes from one shoulder to the other and it doesn't extend out. So they're very short. Now I'm not telling you to go out and walk in fins, but I can actually walk in these fins if I need to because they're so short. So it does work good for that public safety environment. Also, if I'm in tight, confined spaces, I don't have this big, long, bulky fin out here hitting on the walls and everything else. It works great for tight, confined spaces because it's such a short fin. 
but with the very thick walls here on the side, it works good for back fending or helicopter kicking. And, you know, primarily, I'm only going to frog kick in these fins. You can flutter kick with this, but I can tell you right now, it just kills my legs when I do that. So these are primarily for the frog kicking. But with the weight, I really like this for dry suit use. And, of course, I do have the XR spring straps here on the back. These fins typically come with bungee systems, but you can put the spring straps on them. Um, if you order directly from the XR line through your Mared's dealer, you can get the spring straps pre-attached. And these are the heavy-duty spring straps where they mount to the post with a little block here. It's not the quick release one, so you're, you're practically never going to tear these fins up. Um, I've had these for several years. I've put these through a beating, and I can't tear these guys up. So these are my salvage work public safety dry suit diving fins. So guys, I really appreciate you watching the video here. If you got any questions on any of the fins that I personally use, uh, simply put it down in the comment section below. Or if you got any questions on any of the gear you've seen in my other videos, simply put it down in the comment section below, and I'll try to get to you as quickly as possible. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.